Tonight, a family in Nairobi's Isli estate is in dire desperation following the brutal murder of their father. Hakuna mtu anawezalipa fisi yangu sasa hizi. Jo, baba yangu ndo alitaka alipe. Abdi Fatar Hassan Bari was killed on the 11th of September this year by someone well known to the family. So nilikuwa pale kwa shimo mahali maji na mwagiliwa. Wakatukuta mimi huyo jamaa alikuwa na yeye amenigonga chuma hapa. The incident took place in broad daylight within his least seven street near Al Hidayah Mosque. His firstborn son, Hassan Abdifadara, son remembers the final moments when his father breathed his last. He says they were going about their daily business routine of supplying water to the estate when the suspect, a man only identified as Mahada Ahmed Farah, confronted them. I tried to take the hospital to the hospital. I tried to take the chemist. I told them that the hospital is not the hospital and the hospital is not the hospital. I tried to take the hospital to the hospital and I tried to announce that. The aggressor warned the deceased against supplying water to the estate and in the ensuing tussle, stabbed Abdi Fattah Hassan on the chest with a kitchen knife. The 51-year-old father of seven died on the spot. Police visited the scene only to collect his body, but the murder suspect was nowhere to be seen. Ame investigate, pia ame chukua statement za hawa watu wote. Then postmortem kafanyiwa. Wakasema ame kufa juu ya homage. Iyo blood kumwageka sana. Investigators say it took them three months to trail the suspect who was arrested on 4th December. But since his arrest, the family of the victim says they have been receiving death threats. Akasimama kwa mnongo kaniambia ni kitoka umeisha. It has also in mind that the suspect had earlier on threatened to kill his victim before committing the offense. Salama ni kitu mzuri. Sasa utaona kitu mtafanya utaona. Alimtishia hivyo na mniko audio yake ile alirekodi kwa simu ya mzee. Mahada Ahmed Farai is however being detained at Ruaraka Police Station awaiting court process as the family of the deceased keeps hope alive that justice will be served. Sitaki nikose family member yangu tena ama mimi mwenyewe niumie. Franklin Wala K24 TV.